Hey guys, it's Cosmo Clo here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I apply my gradual fake tan. I use many different fake tans, um, I use instant fake tan, gradual fake tan, um, overnight fake tan, loads of different ones but this video is just dedicated to applying gradual fake tan. My favourite gradual fake tan is the Saint Tropez gradual tan everyday body medium slash dark tan. Um, I prefer this one to every other one I've ever tried because I find this one actually gives really really good colour. Other ones that I've used that are gradual, I'll put them on and usually leave them overnight and then the next morning. You can see there's a little bit more colour to my skin but it's just not as noticeable so I'd have to keep doing it for a couple of nights before I notice a big big difference. Whereas this one I feel like after one night I look tanned and it looks like flawless. I don't use tan all the time and this is just the method that I use. It might be a little bit dodgy or you might think that I'm a bit weird or it might be completely wrong but as I said this is just the fake tan routine that I do and everyone everyone has different ways so um, let's show you mine. So the first thing you want to do is have a shower just to make sure you're refreshed and you're clean and basically ready for the fake tan application. In the shower I like to use a body scrub and my favourite one is Sugar Crush and then I will also use a body wash, um, anyone can do. You want to get rid of all your dead skin and like fake tan that you've previously put on so it's just really good to do this step. After you get out of the shower you're going to want to moisturise because your skin may be feeling fresh but you still can get dry skin and the key points to moisturise are your elbows and your ankles and your knees and places like that but I also just make sure to moisturise all over myself. Moisturising is really good because it just helps the fake tan go on a little bit more smoothly rather than it clunking up in certain places and as I said if you put fake tan on dry skin it can actually give quite a horrible effect so moisturising the elbows and the knees and the ankles is really good. Then it's time to apply your fake tan and as I said I use the Saint Tropez gradual tan in medium dark and it is amazing so let's go whack on that tan. I just start off with my arms, I don't know why, I just find it the easiest thing. I'm mainly going to show you my arms in this video just because it's the easiest part of my body to show you but I simply just apply it with my hands, I don't use any gloves or um, mitts because I find it's just a lot more easier with the gradual tan because it's kind of like a moisturiser whereas if I'm using a foam or another instant tan I will use a mitt. Be extra careful with um, this fake tan though because as it is gradual and I said it's like a moisturiser it is white so it is sometimes a little bit harder to see where you get it. I always apply extra care around my neck area because I usually find that from previous experience fake tan gets really clogged up in like the dents of my collarbone and in my neck so I just make sure to be quite delicate with when I place it there just to make sure it's avoided so it doesn't look a bit patchy. I'm going to do the rest of my body off camera because it's a little bit awkward to just stand there in front of you awkwardly. Make sure that you actually wear um, dark clothes while doing this, so dark underwear or a dark bikini or if you want to be naked, you can be naked. But um, yeah, I usually just wear my underwear, black underwear, just in case any fake tan goes on it. And to end with, I wear a black baggy t-shirt and maybe a pair of joggers just to make sure that the fake tan doesn't go in any of my nice clothes and also because it's black it won't show up just as I said. Um, as well, the tan can be quite sticky at first because it is a moisturiser so you just need to let it settle into your skin before you start wearing your nice clothes or start putting layers on so just let a little bit of air get to your skin as it dries up and wear the baggy t-shirts that are black just to avoid any nasty colourage on your t-shirts just have to leave it for four to six hours I usually do this before I go to sleep that way when I wake up my tans ready but I've done this one during the day just so I can show you I'll insert a clip here just to show you my fake tan after about three hours and that is basically what I do with my gradual tan as I said it is a really really strong color and it comes out so nice so I don't need to really cake it on and I don't need to keep doing it often. If I want to go for a more instant stronger look then I will use my instant fake tan by Saint Tropez or Saint Moritz. Uh, but this as I said is just for the gradual tan. Usually as well once I'm done if I'm a little bit unhappy with how blotchy it might have turned out or if it's a little bit too strong I do sometimes have a shower just to kind of even out that and then you can always reapply more fake tan afterwards if you think it's gone a little bit too pale. 
so guys I hope you enjoyed this short video um, and that is that is basically how I apply gradual fake tan there's no special method it's nothing different from what everyone else does I just thought I would share it with you just in case because I know a lot of people like to share their instant tans and things like that so this is just for a gradual tan look I will see you in my next video make sure you give this one a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you didn't press an X and I will see you guys soon bye